Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be With Mahesh. In our today's video in Think and Design, the question is something like this. Your company got a, a big opportunity to work on a, a big data project where the volume itself is around uh, 10 petabytes of data. So the data is already uploaded into Google Cloud Storage Bucket because this is going to be a big data project, uh, primarily more of data engineering related work. The bucket which we have choose the, or selected is basically uh, a region standard storage class is what we have done. So, so far so good. So today we get an email. So this is something yesterday itself which has been done. Today we get a mail that this project is put on hold uh, basically uh, for three months due to some org changes in the customer's uh, place. So because of which it has been put on hold. Since the data is already uploaded, we don't want to basically delete this data. This is a requirement. Uh, but at the same time, we don't want to incur too much of cost. What could be the option which you can think of uh, basically to reduce the cost and still retain the data? So pause the video. Uh, let me know the possible answer uh, in the comment section. As usual, I'm going to share my possible solution may not be the best solution, but a possible solution. Let's look into it. Before we look into the possible solution, a quick shout out. I'm starting my batch eight starting from tomorrow, which is 22nd of January. If you're interested, please drop me a mail at learnjspwithmahesh at the rate gmail.com. Now let's go to the solution. All right. Uh, <clears throat> I have simulated a, a Google Cloud storage bucket just to pretend as if the files are going to be uh, 10 petabytes. I don't have such much uh, that much of data. Just pretend as if these two files uh, or groups of files are going to make up uh, 10 petabytes of data just for the understanding purpose. Now this is the name of the bucket. Very smartly we have made the bucket uh, storage class as standard and it is a region storage class which is perfect. Now because it is going to be standard uh, today the project is going to be put on hold. I don't want to retain the data. Now, one of the possible options people may think is why don't we apply object lifecycle policy? So meaning I'm going to put this policy and add a rule saying that change the, because it's going to be three months, I'm going to make it as cold line. So change it to cold line uh, from the date of creation. So today was it, oh, sorry, not a uh, cold line. So what I would do is uh, make it cold line. I guess uh, one day because yesterday it was uploaded. So one day itself make it cold line. That's what I'm going to create it as a rule basically. So this is what I can do, but I'm not interested. Sorry, not cold line. Uh, make it as near line. My bad. Sorry. So make it as cold line and uh, do this. So this could be uh, one possible solution is what most of them think, but I'm not uh, a great fan of this one only in this situation. The reason is if I go back and add a rule again, you see this folks, 24 hours, meaning it's not going to be immediately applied, changing the class from standard to near line, cold line. So 24 hours is going to happen. So now let's look into the cost of 10 petabytes of data. If it is in standard for one day, what is going to be the cost? And let's see what could be a better choice. So I have a pricing calculator. So standard storage class in Singapore. So the amount of data is 10 petabytes. So if I add the cost, it is going to be around uh, 209k uh, US dollars. So now if I use my calculator and basically use this number 209715 divided by 30. So every day I'm going to pay roughly around $7,000. Now, if I wait for one day, I have to pay that $7,000. Now, instead of that, what if I can ad hocly right away ASAP convert this into near cold line? I will save some good amount of cost. What is the cost it's going to be? So let's try to do that in a different calculator. Cold line, Singapore, 10 petabytes. So this is what is going to be the cost. So meaning, so per day cost is going to be around 1700 or 1800. But if we have uh, basically 
leaving it as a standard storage class even for one day it is going to cost us around roughly around 7000 and here it is going to be 1747 so meaning uh, we are going to basically save roughly around five thousand dollars uh, at least for a day now what is the solution for that the solution for that is you cannot do something in the ui so ui does not really help in this case so in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going, going to open my cloud shell and run a command called as gsutil rewrite command so if i use that rewrite command i can asap immediately change the storage class to cold line and after 90 days i can anyway uh, change it back to a uh, standard storage class because uh, assuming being optimistic the project is going to come up after three months i can basically change from cold line to near standard again and start working on it so that's the option which i'm going to be showing it so let's wait for the cloud shell to come up all right the the cloud shell is launched the command which i'm going to run is g uh, gsutil rewrite let's wait for this authorization uh, rewrite minus s cold line so gs colon slash slash so all the buckets are all the objects so here it is avro i'm just going to make it as star dot avro so if i just do this basically let me make it a little up so now basically i'm sorry <coughs> I guess it was uh, okay encryption is turned on basically uh, let me just turn off uh, basically the encryption part of it maybe I was doing some encryption related stuff so okay so I was doing some encryption demo so that's the reason um, sorry for that so let me just do this part when i do this basically i am rewriting the class to near line uh, cold line so if i just close this refresh it you should be able to see it is now changed to cold line asap immediately i have done the changes so i'm going to save roughly around five thousand uh, us dollars if i do this now object lifecycle policy is going to be possible that is for a well planned change but if there's an ad hoc change, rewrite is going to be really helpful. So that's the video which I wanted to share today. So a possible solution is using GSUtil rewrite uh, using the specific class which you want it to be converted to right away is going to be a good choice basically folks. So do let me know your choice uh, of the solution in the comment section. Happy to uh, discuss more on that. Thank you for watching.